on him. One of the most dramatic and gallant feats of this war has been performed by the first Allied Airborne Army. Four of the five Dutch landings were a complete success. The fifth, though it fought a losing, isolated battle, contributed immeasurably to the victories of the others. Ground forces made quick contact with most of the landing parties, ousting the enemy from his water-defended positions. The landing at Grave was typical. Reinforced by paratroopers and quickly supported by land forces, the airborne men secured their objectives in record time. The greatest prize of the airborne operation was the huge bridge over the lower Rhine at Nijmegen. It is almost two kilometers long, 14 times the length of the bridge at Arnhem. By far the highest honors, however, have gone to the men who dropped at Arnhem. Their objective was some 90 kilometers beyond General Dempsey's spearhead. A total of 8,000 men landed in the sector of the River Lech in Holland. The record of their valiant stand was immortalized by an army cameraman. Great numbers of paratroops joined the glider-borne units. They established positions which thwarted every German effort to cross the Lech. Their job was to hold out until the land forces made contact. German prisoners were taken the moment the operation was underway, and the airborne troops fought with unparalleled ferocity every minute until they were commanded to retire. Men of the Dutch resistance movement revealed the disposition of the German forces. This country bungalow was converted into a headquarters. As the days wore on, the Germans mustered every man possible against this relatively small force. Help did not get through, and every day the enemy circle grew tighter. Supplies were dropped as long as weather permitted flying. Dusk Allied target indicators revealed that bombers were active against the enemy, but still the land support troops did not come, and orders were sent for the beleaguered unit to withdraw. After one of the most heroic episodes of this war, the men of Arnhem, now only 2,000 strong, retired. These men did not fail. In the nine days and nights they fought, they held the Nazis back. Thanks to their courageous sacrifice, Nijmegen Bridge, undamaged, is in allied hands.